Hello friends, through today's video we are going to tell you about Mindset Book. It is told in this book that whether a person will be successful or unsuccessful in his life depends on his mindset. Because your mindset affects your entire life. From this you can understand how important it is for you to read Mindset Book. It is very important to understand the concept of mindset for your personal development and success. A person's mentality reflects his beliefs, thoughts and attitudes. The mindset of a human being affects his behavior, actions, and the results he achieves in various areas of life. In this video, we will explore the different types of mindset and their impact on a person's life. As you people know that many such movements come in our life when we do not understand in which direction we should work. If you are also troubled by all these things, then you must read the mindset book written by Carol S. Dweck. Before starting Mindset Book Summary, let us also know a little about the author of this book, Carol Dweck. Author of Mindset Book, Carol Dweck was born on October 17, 1946 in New York City, United States. He received his PhD degree from Yale University in 1972. Carol Dweck is currently a professor of psychology at Stanford University. Apart from Stanford University, she has also taught at Columbia University. Harvard University and the University of Illinois. He has been honored with many awards. Apart from Mindset Book, she has written famous books like Self Theories, Their Role in Motivation, Personality and Development. She has written more books in collaboration with other authors. Dr. Carol S. Dweck is considered the world's foremost researcher in the fields of personality, social psychology and evolutionary psychology. Articles about his work have been published in renowned magazines such as The New Yorker, The Times, and The Guardian. Let us now know in detail about each chapter of this book in this article of Mindset Book Summary. Before entering the main part of Mindset Book Summary, let us understand why you should read Mindset Book. This book will develop the capacity in you to deal with any problem. This book will help in understanding the mindset of a person. This book will teach you how to identify opportunity. This book will help you in setting goals in life. This book will teach you how to think positively by changing your thought process. In this book, information is given about humans with two different personalities, fixed mindset and growth mindset. The author of this book, Carol S. Dweck, has tried to explain in this book what the human mind thinks according to time. What does one believe? Whether that person will be able to do anything in life or not. Many such signals are received by humans through the mind. According to which man works. Your way of thinking, your way of understanding yourself and your way of looking at the world is called your mindset. In what circumstances, how do you think, what do you feel? And how do you behave? It all depends on your mindset. Let us understand this with an example. Once a very big company created a big HR panel. This panel included some professional people in its interviews. Like doctor, chartered accountant, architect, lawyer, businessman etc. He was asked how many months can you buy a BMW? The doctor said that it will take me 6 to 8 months. CA said it would take me 1 year. The architect said it would take me 2 years. Everyone answered according to their income. After this, the HR panel included Tata Group owner Ratan Tata in its panel and asked him, Sir, in how many months will you be able to buy a BMW? Then Ratan Tata said that to buy a BMW, I need two to three years. After hearing his answer, the HR panel was surprised. He said that you have so much money that you can buy 10 BMW cars. On this Ratan Tata said that it will take at least two to three years to buy BMW company. After listening to his answer, the people included in the HR panel understood that when they asked questions to professional people, they talked about buying a car, which is a kind of fixed mindset. One who thinks his thoughts only within a certain scope, whereas the answer given by Ratan Tata is what we call growth mindset. Now you must have understood what mindset is. It is very important for you to understand the importance of mindset because whatever you believe about yourself has a direct impact on your life. Whether you will be successful or unsuccessful in your life depends on your mindset and your belief. If you want to become a successful person then you will have to make your mindset like successful people. 
There are two types of mindset. Fixed mindset and growth mindset. People with fixed mindset believe that ability, intelligence and talent are fixed qualities of a human being which cannot be changed and such people spend their entire life in this illusion. People with such a mentality think that only talented people get success. This notion becomes so ingrained in his mind that he never tries to do anything new. Such people are afraid of doing anything new. They are always afraid of failing. Somehow they try to learn some work and if for some reason they fail in that work, then they leave that work there and never do that work again. People with fixed mindset are afraid of taking risks, they are more worried about other people than themselves, what will other people say? They are always worried about this. Such people live their life not according to their own wish, but according to the wishes of other people. The thinking of such people remains narrow and fixed. Such people always prove unsuccessful in life because their mindset has become fixed. Due to which they shy away from learning new things. People with a fixed mindset waste their entire life trying to keep others happy and that is why they never get true happiness in life. People with a growth mindset believe that qualities such as ability, intelligence, and talent can be improved through effort, dedication to learning, and perseverance. Such people believe that any new skill can be learned. All you need is to make a start, by giving some hard work and time you can become an expert in any skill. People with growth mindset are not afraid of taking risks nor are they afraid of failing. Despite failing, they try the work again and correct the mistakes made the first time and ultimately become successful in that work. People with such a mentality focus only on their work without caring about anyone else. What will people say? This question does not matter to him. They always create closeness with such people from whom they can learn something new or from whom they can be inspired. They touch the heights of success by helping each other. You can understand growth mindset in the same way as a small child continuously tries to ride a bicycle, he falls many times. Despite this he does not stop riding a bicycle and in the end he gets success. People with a growth mindset always express respect for people who are doing something new in life so that they too get to learn something new. The biggest thing is that people with growth mindset are not jealous of the success of others but take inspiration from them and do something new in life. The author has explained fixed mindset and growth mindset through the example. First example for fixed mindset. You must have heard the name of Lee LeCocker, CEO of Chrysalis Motors. When he joined the company, the financial condition of the company was very bad at that time, after which he made the company financially strong. When the company started performing well, he became proud that it was only because of him that the company has become financially strong again in the market today. After this, he started taking all the decisions of the company himself and started considering himself omnipotent, and started looking at the employees with inferiority complex. The result was that the company's growth stopped and the company again fell into a financial crisis. Through this example you must have understood what a fixed mindset is. Second example for growth mindset. Lou Gerstner who was the CEO of IBM company. He saved the company from sinking. For this, he inspected his company and after this he got information that all the employees of his company are working for personal growth. Due to which the growth of the company has stopped. Then he called all the employees and said that if we want to save the company from sinking, then all the employees will have to think together about the growth of the company and if the company grows then all of you will also grow. Hearing this from him, all the employees of the company became highly motivated and started working for the company with full hard work and honesty. The result of which was that the company was saved from sinking. This is called growth mindset. School teachers play an important role in the development of children. Many teachers in school have a fixed mindset. Their focus is only on those students who are bright in studies. Whereas they do not pay any attention to the students who are weak in studies because they feel that nothing is going to happen for this student, therefore there is no point in investing time on it. We call such teachers fixed mindset teachers. On the contrary, there are teachers with a growth mindset in the school. Who believe that students who are weak in studies can become good in studies if a little attention is given to them. Such students may remain average in studies but in career they remain ahead of the bright children. Therefore, teachers should also make their behavior a growth mindset. 
We should stand in front of the mirror at home and ask ourselves whether we can make our mind a growth mindset because if you want, you can become a person with a growth mindset. If you are a parent, you should always encourage your children and not criticize them on everything. If children are performing well in any field, then definitely praise them. This develops self-confidence in children. If children commit any mistake, explain it to them logically. Teachers should help such students who are very weak in their studies. If children are not understanding any concept related to studies, then explain it again. We live in a society where people often criticize each other, but you should never be afraid of criticism. But keep a growth mindset within yourself, so that it becomes easier for you to achieve your goal. Don't pay any attention to people who talk negatively. As you know, when an elephant walks, the dogs bark after seeing it, but the elephant keeps moving towards its goal. He doesn't pay any attention to dogs. If the elephant wants, it can crush the dog to death, but it does not want to involve itself in negative things. As someone has said well success is the best revenge. Fixed mindset is a bad habit of one, any person is suffering from this habit. He will not make efforts to do any new work in life. For example, if you were asked to write an essay of 2,000 words on climate control. And if you are facing difficulty in writing, then you can complete this work in several steps. This will not put any burden on you and you will write the essay easily. Therefore, if you have created a fixed mindset within yourself, then first you have to change it. The author says through this book that if a person is born in a rich family, then no one can stop him from being successful. Whereas a person born in a poor family will be able to succeed only through struggle and hard work. But for this he will have to change his mindset rapidly, only then will he be able to succeed in life. You should never think about what will happen to your future if you get less marks in the mark sheet because let us tell you that the marks in the mark sheet cannot determine your future but the entire responsibility of making the future lies on your hard work and mindset. For example, you must have heard the name of Dhirubhai Amboni. Dhirubhai Amboni had only studied till 10th class but he built a big company like Reliance Group only because of his mindset and hard work. A business person should not be ego perfect but should work continuously towards motivating his team. Only then the company will grow rapidly and your team will also respect you. A good boss is one who is always ready to learn new things and has a growth mindset. Despite failing in front of the team, he still learns something from his failure. Also, when the team fails, he does not say good or bad to them. Rather, it helps the team to correct the mistakes they have made. On the contrary, a person having the ideology of fixed mindset always considers himself above all. And if someone criticizes him, he expels him from his company. Apart from this, not following the suggestions given by other people. A man with this tendency never succeeds in life and one day his entire team leaves him. If your thinking is like this then you should change it immediately. We all fall in true love once in our life, but many times it happens. That our relationship with the one we love gets broken due to various reasons. Due to which many people get lost in the darkness of despair. Many even do many types of criminal activities to take revenge from their love. Due to which he also has to go to jail. The adverse effect of this is that their entire life gets ruined. Therefore, you should have a growth mindset even in love. Let us tell you that if you love someone in this world and for some reason you have been cheated in love, then there is no need to worry. Because it is possible that you may find an even better partner. Therefore, a growth mindset should be maintained in every difficult situation. This always leads to success in life. These are the main differences between people with fixed mindset and growth mindset. Fixed mindset. Such people believe that abilities are fixed. Growth mindset. Such people believe that abilities can be developed. Fixed mindset. Such people believe that abilities cannot be changed. Growth mindset. Such people believe that abilities can be changed over time. Fixed mindset. Such people avoid challenges and give up easily. Growth mindset. Such people accept challenges and never give up. Fixed mindset. Such people do not consider it necessary to try. Growth mindset. Such people always keep trying. Fixed mindset such people ignore mistakes. Growth mindset such people learn from mistakes. Fixed mindset such people are jealous of others' success.
growth mindset such people take inspiration from the success of others. Such people are afraid of taking risks. Growth mindset such people are not afraid of taking risks. Although mindset book is useful for all people, they are more beneficial for those people who want to build their life in a positive way, change their thinking and develop the ability to fight problems. Mindset book written by Carol Dweck is a very powerful book and today, you learn through mindset book summary in Hindi how you can change your attitude and mental state in the right direction.